Hello. If you're a regular of mine, you'll know that I like to grow vegetables in yoghurt pots. You'll know that this came about because some years ago, when I was growing vegetables in yoghurt pots, the intention was to pot them up into 10 inch water buckets or to move them into a raised bed and there was no room. So I didn't. I let them grow on in the yoghurt pots and I actually had some amazing results. So from then on I've decided to actually plant some vegetables in yoghurt pots and let them grow to maturity, if they will, if they will. So some of the vegetables I'm going to show you today um, I'm reasonably confident in. Uh, some of them I've never grown before and I'm not so confident in. Uh, and after you've watched this video, hopefully, if you're not a regular, you'll become a regular. And one thing I am going to do is, because one of the best bits in gardening is when you actually harvest the vegetables, I'm going to show you in this video two vegetables being harvested from yoghurt pots in a previous growing year. Hey, how good is that? How good is that? Okay, let's go through these guys. And what I intend to do is, I intend to sit these guys in this uh, dish, uh, and the dish has got water in. I'm going to water them from the bottom because when you get a look at these, you'll see there's actually no room to put water in the top of these yogurt pots because they're actually full to the brim with soil. Right, let's do this one first. Let me bring this one round to the front. Hope you can see that one. That's a shallot. Okay, and it's already splitting off into three. And there's no way I can put water in there. It just won't go in. It'll just run over the sides. So we're going to water this bottom up. If I can turn this over, I hope you can see that. The hole's in the bottom there. That's where the water's going to go in and water this shallot. Now that would be good, wouldn't it? If that one shallot broke off and gave me three shallots, it's worth doing. We'll pop that there. Wild strawberries. Hey look, there are small strawberries. Can you see them under there? There are small strawberries standing on this. So we're reasonably confident we'll get a few strawberries. This is a beetroot and you'd have to say it's a beauty in terms of the quality of the leaves and the colour. It's a beauty. I'm really hopeful that, uh, that this will get across the finish line and maybe give me a beetroot as, as big as a cricket ball. Who knows? I don't know. We'll only find out if we keep growing it, won't we? Let me just move this along and hope that everything doesn't finish up on the greenhouse floor. Right, what have we got here? Mint. Hey, this is so easy to grow. So easy to grow. Mint. There'll be enough mint in there for a family to last you all year. Seriously. It just grows like mad. This is a new one for me. This is... Purple Top Milan. Um, it's a turnip. Now, it may actually be going to seed. It may have bolted. I haven't grown these before. Um, but it looks as though it wants to swell out. Uh, whether it will or whether it won't, I don't know. You don't know. We'll find out if you stick with this um, this program. You'll find out whether that makes a turnip or not. Um, yeah, so let's keep going with the uh, purple top Milan. Let's hope it uh, hasn't gone to seed. These are bunching onions, spring onions. I'm already eating these out of those yoghurt pots. So that's a winner. That's across the finish line already. Spring onions 
in yoghurt pots. We know that works, we're eating them. How much more proof do you need? Wow, celery. Now I've got to tell you now, these have the potential of becoming big plants. So there's no way we can keep them as close together as they are. So when they go out of this greenhouse, after I've produced this video, I will space them out and I will have to try and support them with whatever I can to stop the wind blowing them over. It's got to be done. There's no other way of doing it. Okay, so if you give this a go, bear in mind you can't stack them this close. They'll just take each other's light. Uh, you need to spread them out a bit and you do need to support them to stop them blowing over. Let's see if we get that in there. Yeah, we can. Right, what we got left here. Now then, let's move this further over here. It's a bit of a balancing act now. Carrots. I've only just sown these. They've only been in here a couple of weeks. This is a fingerling carrot called Amsterdam Forcing. Fingerling carrot grows as long as your finger. They grow as long as my finger. These yoghurt pots should be okay, should they not? Fingerling carrots. Now I've never grown those in yoghurt pots before. So that this will be a first for homegrown veg. You might want to give that a go. Uh, but use the smaller carrots, the fingerling carrots. Wow, this is an onion. <laughs> I'm having to support it now with canes, with sticks. It's so tall, this would definitely blow over and snap. Uh, so you need to be uh, careful when you're growing things as tall as this in yoghurt pots that um, you do actually give them some support. Now then, have a look at this and come back to me. What do you think of that? That onion? If you thought it was photoshopped, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> if you thought there was some jiggery porkery going on there, I wouldn't blame you. That was a, a sizable onion to come from a yoghurt pot. You need to stay with this video. You'll see that onion being harvested. So if you think there was any um, skullduggery going on there, you won't if you stay with this video. You might even grow onions in, uh, in yoghurt pots. Now then. These are in danger of falling off here. This is a leak. Okay, single leak. Now then, when you get a look at this, you definitely will think there's something not right. Check this out. Hey, how about that? How about that? That leak must have been oh, 9 or 10 inches long. These pots are only 5 inches deep. Come on, that's got to be a fiddle, hasn't it? Surely you don't believe that. Yeah, you will. You will if you stay with this video. I'll show you me harvesting that leak from a yoghurt pot. I'll show you me harvesting an onion from a yoghurt pot. Just stay with the video, keep the faith. Right, let me pop that onion in there. Last two, and then we finished. And then you can watch those, that onion and that leaf being harvested. Korabi, Korabi. I've never grown it before. I don't know how big it'll grow. I don't know if it'll grow in this yogurt pot, but we're going to find out. That's Korabi. Right, let's move that tray. Last one, a lettuce. I think that's little gem. And we've been taking leaves off this lettuce for weeks now. So we're actually eating lettuce and we're eating spring onions. And we're taking mint from these yoghurt pots now. How about that? How about that? You don't need to take everything at once. Particularly with spring onions 
and lettuce. Just take what you need, take it in, wash it and eat it. Come on, come on, that's how to do it. Boy, it's getting warm in here. Right, I'm glad this, uh, I'm glad this is over. I need to get out for a cup of tea. Okay, watch the rest of this video. You will enjoy it, I know you will. Um, and stick with this, you may want to give it a go. You may want to give it a go. I'm fairly sure if you stay with the channel, you will see these again this year. Uh, apart from those that maybe don't make it, like this um, turnip, which I think might have gone to seed. Uh, obviously, if that's the case, it'll be out. And if I've got something else in a yogurt pot, um, then yeah, I'll pop that in. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. You certainly will when you watch the next bit. How to grow vegetables in yoghurt pots. Hello. In this video I am going to show you an onion and a leek being harvested from a yoghurt pot. Here at Homegrown Veg the first seed sown every year are usually onions and leeks. This is what they look like after a few weeks. When they are this big, we separate them and plant them up into raised beds or into buckets. When the beds and buckets are full, there may be some leftover seedlings. This is a leftover onion seedling being harvested from a yoghurt pot. Now let's harvest the leftover leek from its yoghurt pot.
how good is that? A nine inch long leaf grown in a five inch deep yogurt pot. How good is that? That's a result. This is all grown veg, signing out. Right Molly, let's get tidied up. Come on. I need a hand here. Come on. Right Molly, what do you want? Heads or tails? Heads it is. Me first. Oh, useless. You know Molly. Come on, let's get started.